How's it going? Oh, my it's Heaven here, and um, this is the first time, and I think I said this before actually, but this is the first time where it's actually really legit not something for me to talk about, kinda. Well, it is, so I guess I just lied, but it's, um, it's a slow week in the land of DSP, thankfully, unless you want to talk about, like, stupid forum shit that I don't really care about, to be completely honest. But, um, let's see here. What happened in the last week? Uh, DSP allegedly got his, uh, his Patreon goal hit, so he's gonna be playing Sonic. Don't know how, because he was like more than a hundred dollars and fireworks in the background. You probably can't hear it, but he was like more than a hundred dollars under, well, not, not under, uh, below. And then I don't know, uh, the last day with less than 12 hours left, he hit the goal. And let's check for a bit. I'm pretty sure uh, people change the amounts now. So the numbers are different. Yeah, it's say $980 out of $1250. Jesus fucking Christ. And his next Patreon goal is going to be a Patreon's, uh, Patreon's Choice playthrough, which are not very exciting. He ain't even finished Persona 3 yet. And he's struggling to try to beat that game before the end of the month. He probably will if he play it enough. But he's gonna get really bored of it. But he's gonna he's gonna beat it eventually. Well, it, you know what I mean. Eventually. Uh, let me see. Uh, what else happened? I played DSP in Street Fighter Five during his patrons uh his Patreon marathon thing, and I didn't even have to give him five dollars. He had two people playing. It was uh, GL and uh, I don't know why I'm saying these dudes' names, but it was GL and um, fuck, low tier lord. That's what it was though. He lost most of the matches. I think he beat GL a little bit, but I, I don't think he beat low tier lord. I think he might have beat him one set. I don't remember. And uh, low tier lord had to leave, so DSP and some fucking jackass is still doing fireworks. Uh, anyway, happy 4th of July, by the way, because this video is going to be up past midnight, so happy 4th of July. Um, let me see. So it was just DSP and GL, and then he opened uh, he opened the lobby up and let other people play. I don't think GL left. I don't remember. I don't know if he left or he was like, oh, I'm done playing tonight. I, I don't know why he couldn't continue to keep playing. But he opened the lobby up, set a password. I was the first person in because I already had the game started. I already found his lobby before he even set the password or before he changed it. He's fucking fireworks in the background, though. Jesus fucking Christ. How you doing fireworks before midnight on July the 3rd? Really? Really, fam? Oh, they look like we don't live in a slightly nicer neighborhood because somebody will call the police. Anyway, this this intro is already longer than it needs to be. I've been talking I've been talking for like four minutes, huh? Um but yeah, I fought him in Street Fighter Five, picked Alex, and he uh went with Rashid. I knew everything he would do because his Rashid is lame as fuck. And uh I beat him and that's it. He complained about lag the whole time. I beat him and that's it. The match ran fine for me. And uh, I played against Rad Rad, which is a name you may know from uh, the MKX days. He played against DSP in that game, too, I believe, when he was doing uh, fan matches or whatever. Uh, picked Gal for that match, pretty much threw the match on purpose. And you could tell the, the commentary DSP did. He was so fucking happy that I was getting beat by this dude like this. Because he apparently thought I was trying with Gal, I guess. I don't know. Uh, got to play DSP again. I picked Zangief with the hopes he would pick Rashid, but he picked Ryu, and I got bodied. But to be honest, I really don't care. Like I threw the match, I threw the second match when I was using Gal against uh, Rad Rad, and I picked Zangief for the next set of matches against DSP. I was happy I beat him with my main character, and he used his main character because his main character is Rashid, pretty much. He wins more matches with him. He can do more invisible quotes he can do more with Rashid and uh, Alex is pretty much my main character 
I wish I would have used Fang, though, instead of Zangief when I played against his Ryu. But sadly, I'm never going to get another chance because DSP is probably never going to play Street Fighter V in the lobby ever again. And after the first season of DLC done, he's pretty much done with Street Fighter V. He's getting the MKX and the Kill Instinct treatment. So that's disappointing. But I guess I could uh, say I got to play him in Street Fighter V. So now people can't say, oh, Devin, you should play Phil in Street Fighter V anymore because I played him. So uh, the match is not on YouTube unless somebody recorded it and uploaded it that I don't know about. I stupidly didn't rewind his stream to record it. So I got to just keep faith in him and trust that he eventually uploads it. Don't know. He might. Now, I'm, I'm going to look at it this way. If you don't upload the match where I played him and I beat him, he better not upload the matches where I threw it. When I, well, he better not upload the match I threw when I was using Gao against the other dude. And he better not upload the match when he used Ryu when I used Zangief. Because that would be some true bitch made shit. Just either don't upload any of them or upload all of them. But I guess we shall see. Of course, he had um, some salty, uh, some salty uh, posts in his chat saying something like, the game allows players like Tevin to win, like trying to imply I don't have fundamentals. You know, because I haven't been playing Street Fighter as long as him at all. Even though I technically kind of have. It is what it is. It's not really something worth defending. I won the first set. He used his main character. I used my main character. Get over it. It's, that's really kind of all I can say. Hopefully he uploads the matches though. Hopefully. Don't know. I guess we shall see. I'll uh, I'll be back next week complaining about him not up uploading it or if he does upload it then I'll just probably watch the video in my video. Hopefully he's not watching this. Oh and the best part was when I joined he was like oh look it's Tevin and blah 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 and C said something along the lines of like uh, I treat him like a dick online or some shit like that so at least he didn't call me a troll which is kinda what I was expecting but I've been here talking for seven minutes and some change so let's uh, listen to this bullshit but yeah pretty much pre-streams he only did I think three pre-streams unless it's a fourth one that I don't see um, I think maybe he did other pre-streams and he didn't record them like for his Patreon shit I don't know but most of this week been a uh, Patreon appreciation stuff it was Overwatch it was Doom and it was Street Fighter 5 they are really boring from what I've seen but I don't care about Overwatch, I don't care about Doom, and the Street Fighter V one was really just kind of, uh. but that's uh, that's how it is. He got $5 from two people that played Street Fighter V with him. Actually, I think it was more than two, but uh, the other people I was supposed to play couldn't at the last minute, and they kind of made the whole uh, event a flop, so rip. Uh, what else? I think that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah. Him complaining about Street Fighter V a lot in his pre-streams. He even said the game had 8 milliseconds of delay. Some fucking fan probably told him about it in the chat, and he didn't do any research on it. Had the nerve to call it 8 milliseconds. And in about 2 hours into the stream, he just started saying 8 frames of delay out of nowhere. And DSP never complained about... He complained about lag and moves not coming out. And now he can say, oh, the moves don't come out because the eight frames. No, the moves don't come out because you're not fucking good at inputs. It, uh, but it, it is what it is. Anyway, um, let's listen to these pre-streams. And then we'll go to, to go to the weekend preview. And we'll pretty much be done. This should be a short video. Even though I've just been rambling for ten minutes and stuff. Sorry about that. The bottom line is this. It's not... Unfortunately, oh, no. there's still shenanigans going on with my Patreon. All right, and you know what? Let me go back now. Turn my headphones so up a little bit. Inside. We'll go here. There we Actually, go. You know what? We'll go here. Here we go. These fucking fireworks outside. Uh, there's some shenanigans going on with my Patreon. <laughs> and what I mean by that is we still have people who are coming in, pretending like they're legit pledges. They come in at various times during the month. Some of them even leave pretty big pledges, like fifty bucks, stuff like that. And then they wait till the end of the month, and last minute, they pull the pledge, alright? It's stupid. Why are you allowed on Patreon to make false pledges, right? It doesn't make sense. 
It's a really dumb practice, and people do it all the time to troll people. Now, in particular, last year, this was really bad. I had, like, two or three kids, and they were kids, because I knew exactly <laughs> who the fuck they were, too, who were coming in they were kids. with blatantly fake accounts, leaving giant pledges, and then pulling them. So, you know, everyone would look and say, oh, Phil's hitting his goal for this month. That's cool. I don't need to pledge now because he hit the goal already. Uh, and then last minute, it would plummet $300. I don't know why he assumes people think like this. I have the money prepared to give to DSP, but because he hit the goal, I won't give him money, even though the money is supposed to support him and it's not just to do goals. I don't get that. I don't think people really thinking like that with his Patreon. Yeah. Pretty stupid. Um, so, the same thing happened this month. FYI, I got confused, and I do apologize to anyone who is confused with the whole dates and everything i thought today was the last day of june i really <laughs> did i thought today was the final day of june and i started tweeting you thought the 29th was the last day of june but he has a game in calendar he didn't look at his calendar it's the last day you've got 12 hours left to pledge or whatever i was wrong i screwed up and i apologize for that. today's not the last day of june all right tomorrow is so that means as of right now you have 35.5 hours from this very moment that I'm talking and recording this to pledge to my Patreon for the month of June hours. and make this Sonic Marathon happen. All right. Um, the problem is, guess what happened overnight? Two people who left <laughs> fake Two pledges Those earlier, people. Uh, earlier this week. Or not earlier this week, earlier this month. It was actually very early on in the month. There were two people who made large pledges, like the first week of June, when my parents were visiting. And that's kind of what threw me off. It was like, I, my parents are visiting, I'm not putting out any new content, I'm not live streaming, why am I getting giant pledges on Patreon? It seems out of place, right? I was actually thinking about this before I recorded this. I don't understand his method of thinking, because he's not able to shill... He think he won't get pledges in the beginning of the month and uh, then it, it came to me of course he don't think this way because he, he don't work like an actual job and get checks well, you know what I mean he don't like work a nine to five in the beginning of the month that should be when he gets the most pledges as opposed to the end of the month regardless of how much he shill or not you know, somebody could have got a fucking, I don't know, somebody could have got some kind of disability check, anything. But he, um, it just doesn't occur to him that that might be a thing. Of course, these what wasn't legit pledges, but he shouldn't be so, uh, he shouldn't be so wary of stuff like that. So, yeah. unfortunately, but the plot thickens. The pledges today, and it sucks because, you know, thickens. all month you're looking at the pledge total, and it was like, oh. It's right near, it's right near the goal. We're right there near the financial goal to do this Sonic Marathon. We're right there, we're on the edge, we're right next to it, good. Squeaky, and I'm squeaky. sure there are people who might have pledged, right, if they thought that we were further away from the Sonic goal, but they saw that we were right next to it, and they were like, all right, looks like Phil's going to make it. Well, whatever, you know, I, I'm not going to pledge this month. It looked like he's going to hit the goal, I'm not going to pledge this month. Who, fu who fucking thinking that way? He said himself his Patreon isn't isn't all about that it's about helping him continue to make videos and shit want that all right <sighs> well this morning they removed it and now because this wow. idiot <laughs> these fucking you know, assholes idiots these were fireworks. faking all month um we're now more than 150 dollars below the goal significantly in fact i think last time i checked it was like almost 200 dollars below the goal because it was two fake pledges that were inflating everything all month and it's not fair. It gets better. It's not Continue fair to, to me. Listen. It's not fair to you, if, especially if you're a pledgee to Patreon, right? You thought, oh, like, Phil's a couple bucks off, so I'll put in five bucks this month. Maybe he'll make the Sonic goal. And then it, it plummets. It's absolute bullshit, all right? Well, here's the deal, ladies and gentlemen. Two things, all right? I have two things, and both of these are, are kind of positive, all right? I'm going to spin this negative into a positive. Number one... We still have 35.5 hours left to pledge to Patreon. There's still a chance people can pledge and we can hit the goal to do this Sonic Marathon. Hours. All right. And the bottom line is the total that you see on Patreon is not accurate. 
the total that you see on Patreon is not accurate. That we're inflating everything all month. And it's not fair. In fact, I think last time I checked, it was like almost $200 below the goal. Last time we checked, it was almost $200 below the goal. On the website, it showed he was like $170 below the goal at this time. But then he follow up less than two minutes later and say the number you see isn't real. What? Uh, I don't, I don't get 50 that. Fifty bucks or something like that, and the goal is twelve hundred fifty bucks. So it looks like we're two hundred dollars off, right? He the just said that he's two hundred dollars off. That's not true. Okay, I just want to make that abundantly clear to everyone. That's actually not true. What happens with Patreon? They actually changed this late last year is it estimates, based off of the amount of pledges that you have, that a certain percentage of your pledges are going to get declined. It just estimates, it guesses, okay? And this is true, every month, I get a chunk of pledges who get declined for various though. reasons. Maybe oh my they didn't have money in their account and they thought they did, or their credit card expired, or for whatever reason. All right? <sighs> so, the bottom line is what you see there. All right. What you see there on Patreon is not accurate. It's an estimate. There's a chance we will hit the goal this month. Okay. I don't want people to see that and say, "Oh my God, I feel so far off from his goal." That's it. We'll forget. But he just said that he about two hundred dollars below the goal. He just checked. But then he say it's an estimate and it's not the real number. So why did you say you was about two hundred dollars lower then? I would assume somebody that actually owned the account could check a separate sheet, but I, I don't know. I, I don't know what. <laughs> I, I I don't understand DSP sometimes. I really don't. He's telling us two different stories, pretty much. No Sonic Marathon. No, it's not true at all. First of all, like I said, there's still still 35 and some hours to pledge. And number two, we could still hit the goal even despite all that because it's estimating that it's... Also, who has more money at the end of the month? The last day of the month? I'm supposed to believe he got almost $200 in pledges? A certain amount of people will be declined and it automatically lowers the total that you see. Mm, okay. All right. So that's number one. Just want to let you know. Chances are we may still hit the goal. Don't freak out about it, okay? I think number you two. freaking out about it, DSP. I think what I'm going to have to do in the month of July, and I, I didn't want to do this. I actually did not want to do this, all right? But I think I have to at this point to avoid this nonsense. I think I'm going to set up pay. my Patreon. There's an option. They just adopted this a couple months ago. Where as soon as someone pledges to Patreon, it charges them, okay? You can't even pledge without entering your credit card information or PayPal or whatever and having a charge go through. It won't even show up on your Patreon page. Now, I've avoided this. I've avoided doing it. For what, two because months? Because I've had Patreon since uh, February of 2015, and I have pledges that have been there since day one, and I appreciate that, but they're used to it not being that way, right? They're used to it being that they can on the fly adjust their pledge at any time, and it doesn't affect them until the early first week of the month, the first day of the month, it charges them. They're used to that. But unfortunately, I think I need to now institute a change. All right. I need to, because I can't have these idiots coming in <laughs> and false pledging like crazy and overinflating the total and making it look like we've hit goals we haven't and deterring other people from pledging because people would have pledged if they didn't think we didn't hit the goal yet. And it's bullshit. It's not, again, it's not fair to me. It's not fair to other, uh, you know, to other pledges. It's not. It's not fair to anyone. So I think in July I'm gonna have to turn this on. Now the problem is. Once I turn it on, I can't turn it off. So once I turn it on, with the day that I do that, I'm going to have to make a video to make it publicly knowledgeable never made a video all of my about patrons. It. That FYI, you know, if you, if you, with the day you pledge, you're getting charged. And if you change the amount of your pledge, you're getting charged immediately. Those are the two major changes that will happen if I change the way my Patreon works, okay? So I'm going to be doing that, I think, in July. I have to at this point. It's just not fair. And the bottom line is in July, I already know what the goal is going to be for July. FYI, I can give you guys a little preview. It's the return of the patron's choice. It's where patrons are going to be able to... More rehashed, reused, unoriginal goals. Coming from the same dude that shit on game devs for rehashing games and reusing ideas. He ain't even beat Persona 3 yet.
and he's ready to charge people to ask him to play a new game. He ain't even played Sonic yet, and he's ready to charge people. No, at this point, he hadn't even hit the Sonic goal, and he's ready to charge people to play a new game. Also, something I thought about, uh, and I kind of came up with an answer really fast, which he might not do, and I'm not even going to say it, as a matter of fact, because I don't want to give him an idea, because uh, he needs to put some respect on my name. <laughs> anyway, besides that, something else I thought about. He needs to stop taking two weeks into the month to come up with a new goal for the next month. We need to have a goal from week one of every month. Week one of the month, he needs to say, oh, this is the new goal. It's on the website. Pledge to it. Instead of saying, oh, I'm thinking up a new goal. Oh, I'm working on a new goal. I'll have a new goal by the middle of the month. No, that's fucking lazy and corny and cheesy. Because then you have to talk about the fucking goal for 14 days and hope it work out. You know, somebody might have, like I said, somebody might have money in the beginning of the month, and you don't even know what the goal is yet. And people obviously, new people obviously, are not gonna pledge towards a goal that they don't even know, don't even know what the goal is yet. That wouldn't make sense. So we need to uh, so, so nominate out. and vote on games they want to see me play for downtime. And right now, my patron's choice game that I'm still playing is Persona 3, but it looks like I'll finish it by the end of July, which means in August. It would be the perfect time. It looks like he'll finish it, a.k.a. he's going to play it as much as possible to try to finish it. For patrons to nominate and vote on a new patron's choice game, right? And hopefully by the end of August, I could start it up and maybe in you know September, October. Look at how many games he never beat. All these games he never beat. And he won't to charge $1,250 for him to start a new game. Then may take him two months to beat. It probably won't. He's probably going to have short games on the list. It's going to be something stupid. Like, uh... I can't even think of a game, to be honest. It's going to be something like some 10-hour game or some shit. Ugh. It's disappointing. But, uh, this is pre-stream July the 3rd, Street Fighter Story Mode today, so we get to hear some Street Fighter complaints from DSP, which is great. But right now, it's already built into the game. There's no way to avoid it. It's basically... You're talking about the A-frames that lag, by the way. Really one of the worst fighting games ever made. And it's fu sad because it's not because of the characters, it's not because of the fundamental gameplay mechanics, it's basically because the people who designed the game are hacks. And that's sad. That really is sad to see one of my favorite fighting game franchises of all time, the one that I grew up with, the one that was quintessential when you thought competitive fighter, you thought street fighter. It's actually one of the worst now. <clears throat> now the sad part is, and I hate to say this, all of the fanboys, the Street Fighter hardcore stream monster competitive community fanboys who want to get internet famous after playing the game and making YouTube videos of it and streaming it, right? They're all kissing the game's ass. Apparently there's... Rec DSP has no idea what he's talking about, by the way. He think because a lot of people... he th I think it's like 5,000 people for EVO. He think because a lot of people go on to EVO for Street Fighter V that they mean people are kissing this game's ass. I legit have seen no one say anything good about Street Fighter V, besides the core gameplay being good. I've seen no one say anything positive about the game besides that. You watch a tournament stream, it's a bunch of people talking about 8 frames. You see a weird grab, a weird super work. You see a bunch of people posting 8 frames. People complaining about how the DLC work. People complaining about how the outfits work. I ain't seen nobody say anything positive about Street Fighter Five. The people that stream fighting games, not even playing Five. Maximilian, before, um, besides Gao, the last time I seen him stream Street Fighter Five was when Gao came out. So it's not even a besides. He hasn't streamed it since God came out and I'm sure he streamed it when Balrog and the Booker came out and as, as a matter of fact he he did uh, stream the story mode um, and I could name drop a bunch of other people that are known for playing fighting games on Twitch and on YouTube that pretty much haven't been playing Street Fighter 5 I've played Street Fighter 5 more than a lot of these people and I'm fucking garbage at the game because I play it on a <laughs> on a not so good laptop but DSP don't even watch these tournaments. He don't watch these YouTube videos. But because a lot of people go on to Evo, he think fanboys or 
praise in the game. What? No. I don't know of anyone that praises Street Fighter V like flat out and doesn't have anything negative to say. I don't know of anyone. So I don't know where the fuck you get that from. Your numbers of registrations at Evo for Street Fighter V. This is like... This is the, the, the bad thing about him saying stuff like this. He don't interact with people as a part of a certain community and he make assumptions on what people in that community do based on other stuff that has nothing to do with that. He would like... He the type of person that would think... Uh, I can't even come up with a good example. I've been, I've been drinking too much already. This has been a, a moderately stressful week to me, uh, for me to be completely honest. But, um... Yeah, I can't come up with a will one. Fuck it. But yeah, he he coming up with these assumptions based on almost nothing. Five thousand people are gonna be going to Evo for Street Fighter Five. Fanboys are praising the game. What? A lot of people going to Evo for Street Fighter Five because Street Fighter Five, even with the A frames of input delay, is still the most competitive fighting game is out. Because what else you got? You got Nether Realm fighting games that have like eight pounds of bullshit piled on other fucking bullshit, and you got anime fighters, which a lot of people don't even respect. It's not another fighting game that is as uh, fundamental as Street Fighter Five. That's the best word I can come up with. And this is why they say, "Oh, Street Fighter Five is not fundamental. It's all a guessing game." It's both, in my opinion. But um. Of course, a lot of people are at Evo for it, dude. A lot of people probably was at Evo for Street Fighter 4 the first year it was out. The 5,000 people, are, you know how many people are going to be at Evo this year? They probably won't ever go to another tournament again. A lot. A lot. Trust me. But DSP doesn't know that because he doesn't interact with the fighting game community at all. He doesn't even read stream chats anywhere at all. But he has the nerve to say that fanboys of the game are praising it. What? He really has no idea what he's talking about when he talks about Street Fighter Five. This is the same dude that said eight milliseconds of delay, and somebody corrected him, and three hours later he started saying eight frames. Again, he has no idea what he fuck what he fucking talking about. This dude ain't even play as like half the characters. He never played his Fang at all. He did the trials for all the characters. He never played his Fang at all besides the trials he never played as Karen as far as I remember at all besides the trials you watch him play Street Fighter 5 he say a bunch of moves safe that's not safe just because you get hit after they do a move that you blocked that don't mean the move safe DSP that mean you did something that was unsafe and a move be yours you would think somebody that has these fighting game fundamentals and somebody that has been playing fighting games as long as I've been alive almost as long as I've been alive at least would actually know this but not DSP apparently don't know how I don't know why I don't know what the fuck is in his brain to make him so dumb sometimes but it is something we all have our dumb moments but DSP seem to have a lot of them and I'm sitting up here I'm kind of defending Street Fighter 5 in a way but it's not really me defending Street Fighter 5 it's like the game is a piece of shit in a lot of fucking ways and it's got a lot of dumb shit in it that shouldn't be in it and A frames of input delay is kind of ridiculous but yeah, of course I, I put the butt on in but I can't agree with somebody that's talking about a game and has no idea what they're talking about this this dude would have this dude don't know anything about any f actual core elements of Street Fighter 5 and almost everything he say is just random shit. Oh, he's so safe on that move. I can't do anything after it. Yeah, you can. Because it's not safe. You just don't know what to do after it. It's the difference. Listen to you. Despite the fact it's the lowing seller Street Fighter in quite some time. So I got to shrug and be like, whatever. Um, also, the lowest selling Street Fighter in quite some time. What are you comparing it to? Street Fighter 4? That's it. Street Fighter 4 came out in 2009, man. 2009 was a different time, a different everything. And on top of that, Street Fighter 4 came out on Xbox 360 and the PS3. Not just PS4 and PC, and almost nobody played it 
Street Fighter Five on PC. You find lobbies. You find lobbies. You get online matches. You might play against three PC players a week if you play Street Fighter Five at least a few hours a day, legit. And I'm probably gonna be one of them. Almost nobody seemed to have this game on PC. At least people that play online. And uh, what else was I gonna say? I think Street Fighter Cross Tekken sold pretty bad too. Like that game really, really seemed to be dead on arrival. So I, I guess he's just comparing it to Street Fighter 4. But 2009 was a completely different time, and the game was on two consoles. I think fighting games are kind of dying out again, to be completely honest, because it's like you got Mortal Kombat, Injustice, those games ain't really popping, to be honest. You got a bunch of anime fighters, and you got Street Fighter V. And it's a lot of problems with all of these games, based on, especially based on what you're looking for. If you want a fundamental based fighting game that's like, that's like revolve around footsies and shit, you pretty much kind of have to play Street Fighter V. Kind of. You sure ain't go fucking play Injustice for that, or MKX, and you sure can't play any of these anime fighters out there for that. So, uh, yeah. And I'm sure somebody's gonna post a paragraph long comment going against everything I said, and having some one-sided opinion. So have fun doing that. But all of this <laughs> is just kind of backstory. It's not. To today, alright? To today. Today I'm gonna be checking out the story mode of Street Fighter V. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's gonna be... The only thing that could possibly come out that can do somewhat similar uh, that can do the same thing somewhat that Street Fighter 5 does is King of Fighters 14 and I have seen nothing about King of Fighters 14 that looks impressive at, uh, at all the game it looked like a fucking indie game but maybe when it come out the gameplay will be so fucking good but it looks really bad to me but I guess we shall see because King of Fighters 14 comes out Fuck this month, next month, it come out pretty fucking soon. Good. I don't know if it's gonna be bad. All right, we're gonna see. We're gonna see what happens first. Uh. Today, the Street Fighter Five Story Mode. I'll be uploading that to DSP Gaming today as well. So if you're wondering, gee, when is that gonna go oh, live? Let I me can't. see well, this. Doing multiplayer with Patreon. Very different of information about what to expect in the next week from me because now I'm finally back at a full time the capacity. The weekend and what preview. I mean by that is not that I haven't been streaming every day. But that the past couple of days have been. I want to know what he uploading these Patreon okay. uh, matches. Very, very different than a normal schedule. I've been doing multiplayer with patrons for the past couple of days, and I'm fully aware that if you're someone who watches my playthroughs, you might have been turned off. So I don't really care about Phil playing multiplayer with certain people or whatever. Um. <clears throat> so here's how it's gonna go down. All right. I want to know when he's uploading those down. videos. Today, the Street Fighter Five Story Mode. I'll be uploading that to DSP Gaming today as well. So if you're wondering, gee, when is that going to go live if I can't watch the stream? That's going to be live today. All right. Tonight, I'm going to do the weekend preview. And following the weekend preview, I'm going to work on patron stuff. There's a lot of patron stuff that I need to take care of. Now that the, the month has begun and all the initial pledges have processed, I need to get uh, messages out to patrons to start being able to get them their perks and such. So that's going to be, you know, tonight, my tonight, basically. All right. Tomorrow... <clears throat> Street Fighter 5 We'll continue I'll be playing Balrog tomorrow The Boxer One of my favorite characters of all time in the Street Fighter franchise He was actually one of my main think Ball Rock level good characters in, in Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo The game that I was competitive at And actually uh, either placed at or won multiple tournaments Including majors Oh my god Using him by the way Who fucking cares um, So that'll game. be tomorrow And of course I liked Balrog in vanilla Street Fighter 4 as well Until they eventually nerfed Older him in later that. versions <laughs> well, I had a lot of fun with Ball Raw in, in uh, the Street Fighter franchise. So, I will definitely... <clears throat> I would definitely be able to uh, let you know Stop what I think about the Street Fighter Five after trying Silly him out tomorrow. Game. I'll be doing his training mode. Uh, you know, I'll be going into his trials, do his little mini story mode, and then go online and do online gameplay. And get bodied. All right. So, all of that... <laughs> Uh, is DSP gonna acknowledge that it's July the 4th that he's gonna do this stream? Does he care at all? Because I assume less people are gonna show up. I don't know. He don't care. He don't all care about holidays. Tomorrow. tomorrow night, as I've already told you, I'll be working work on my anyway. thoughts. 
Um, on this story mode, we'll see oh, how it God, goes I today. Video. All right, and uh, it's been a while. And then we will see how you know. Give me my my formal. First of all, something else, something else I've been thinking about. When was the last Ask the King? Isn't one supposed to be this month? But it's been what two months since an Ask the King? It's not like this. The hardcore gaming season or something. You have to pay twenty dollars to get a question asked. Dude ain't do it. Ask the King in two fucking months. Also, remember Hey Live? He got rid of Hey Live because he was doing these Phil Thoughts videos. But he ain't do a fucking Thoughts video in like two or three months. Legit. So what the hell, DSP? Bring Hey Live back and do stupid Thoughts videos. I don't know. Well, kind of mini review thoughts tomorrow hey night. Hey Live used to be kind of interesting because it Tuesday, was just him rambling. I'll be checking out I don't Ibuki, the, King that much. the other DLC character that was released. So, like, same thing as with Balrog. Training mode. Her trials, her story mode, going online with her, that'll be on Tuesday, okay? Okay. There you have it. Uh, Tuesday night. Uh, oh, my I'm God. On the fence I'm skipping about this. This is just the weekend I don't remember preview. half of it. I remember about the first half, Jesus and that's it. Christ. I don't actually remember uh, much of the original Resident Evil 5 playthrough. Like, I remember there's supposed to be an epic fight with... Okay, I'm going to shorten this. When he played Resident Evil 5 back in the day, he was drunk for most of the time, or he was drinking for most of the time, so he don't remember a lot of the game, and he's trying to sell, possibly playing Resident Evil 5 Remaster HD or whatever the fuck bullshit Capcom and put out. I didn't even know this was a thing until he talked about it, but he wants to play Resident Evil 5 again, that high game Resident Evil 5, the fucking over shoulder shooter bullshit Resident Evil 5, but he wants to play that again, so uh, have fun. DSP viewers. Jill, I'm fully free. I'm going to be balancing it with Persona 3. There may be days when I do entire streams of Persona 3. Because I want to get that done, because if you're not aware, I, I'm sure... Rushing it. A whole day of Persona 3. When he's never done a whole day of Persona 3 before. Rushing it. He did the same thing when he played uh, Yakuza 4 back in the day. Remember that? That Patreon marathon? Not ma Patreon marathon, that Patreon's uh, choice. I just thought about it, these Patreon Choice playthroughs usually are games that he kinda don't wanna play that much. Cause he put games on the list, but obviously, obviously if you specifically charge in $1250 to play a game, you probably don't wanna play it that much. He treated Yakuza 4 like shit. Like shit. And I was actually listening to um, his old weekend previews. Like, I had him in the playlist playing in the background. It's a lot of videos, by the way, and they're really fucking long. But in one of the videos, I think it was in 2014, or maybe 2013, he was like, oh, I'm, I promise I'm going to play Yakuza 4 in downtime. He never played it for downtime. It ended up being a Patreon goal, <laughs> which is great. But it's obvious he really don't want to play these games that much because he charging money to do it. When it was Minecraft, it was kind of cool. You know, back when also also back when the Patreon's choice uh bless your guinea pig, random sneeze. Back when Patreon's choice was seven hundred dollars or six hundred dollars, remember that? When he had multiple goals and now he don't. But um Minecraft was okay, you know, it was oh man, he never played Minecraft, he always hated on it. But when it's these random games it's not really even interesting. Oh man, it's, it's, I don't think it's anybody anywhere. It's like, oh man, I can't. F I have to fucking see Phil play Persona 3. It's nobody thinking that. It's nobody think. Oh man, I have to see him play Sonic 3. No, it might be some people I want to see him play Sonic 06. But he's not even gonna finish the game. It's gonna be six hours of him fucking around, and he's not gonna beat it, and he's never gonna go back to it. Uh, I don't get it. Remember his uh, Halloween marathon recently? Well, not recently, but last year when he played uh, Fatal Frame and he never went back to it ever and they got low views. He probably, no, nah, he probably traded it in. I think he actually got that game digitally. I don't remember. Pretty uh, much none of DSP. you know this because almost no one checks my Patreon page regularly. Last night I updated my Patreon page with the goal for July. Yeah, already I've updated it. I've never updated my Patreon this early. Yo, I was actually saying he should update it early. But it's not even anything to talk about. But I want to see what the choices are. 
Thank you for telling me that DSP because I um, actually wasn't looking at it like that. But it said 980 of 1250 for the month of July. A very special patron event returns. The patron's choice playthrough. How the fuck is this very special? <sighs> I know I look horrible today. By the way, I already know. You don't have to tell me. If we hit the funding goal for the month of July, patrons who pledge five dollars during the month will be nominating and then voting for a game over the course of August, of which I will play at least twelve hours of gameplay. I think it used to be six hours, and I would say at least twelve hours. I'll either beat the game in this time or make a determination whether to continue it long term based on multiple factors, aka views and how much I like it. FY every game bless you again FY every game choosing for patient choice in the past has turned into a full fledged playthrough he ain't even beat Persona 3 yet he forcing himself to fucking beat it past games have included both Persona 3 and 4 and turned into long epic playthroughs you haven't beaten 3 yet and it's a really boring playthrough 4 was interesting but I don't think 3 even got a good as good of a story my opinion Epic playthrough, so let's hope patrons pick something truly great if we hit this funding goal. Yeah, he don't have choices yet. So if you pledge five dollars this month, next month you come up with a list. Over the course of August. Wait. Huh? So they're gonna come up with a list and vote next month? No, in the beginning of the next month? No way. Cause there's no he can't play it over the course of August. That's gonna be like the second half of August when he do that. But uh, yeah, that's the new Patreon goal. It's really unoriginal and fucking boring. And I really, really miss when he had multiple goals. Charge the same amount of money for your no, no, not even that. Get rid of the other goals and just flat out say twelve hundred and fifty dollars or nothing is gonna happen. What a fucking jackass oh my god <sighs> whatever ridiculous re fucking ridiculous well let's continue but the goal for July if we hit a funding level for July on my patreon is the return of the patrons choice playthrough okay okay so <clears throat> if <clears throat> we hit the funding goal this month Patrons will be nominating and voting on the next playthrough that I'll be doing as a downtime style playthrough that I'm going to balance with other games at the start of the hardcore gaming season. And if you actually check on September, September is a light month this year, if you can believe it. There's not a lot of release. But he said he's going to, it's saying on his Patreon page, he's going to play it over the course of August. And now he's going to be playing it in the start of the hardcore gaming season, but that's September. Huh? I've been looking, there's maybe one, two, three, four releases that I think people will really want to see this September. I love the fact that DSP completely ignores PC games, by the way. In 2016, a Let's Player is ignoring PC games. Wonder why his business is failing. So that being said, I'm going to need something to balance all that with. And I'm going to put it in the hands of the patrons to determine what that's going to be. Okay? If we hit the funding goal for July. So I'm just letting you know way ahead of time, that's the deal, and that's why I want to finish Persona 3 by the end of this month, because if I finish it by the end of this month, then I can focus okay, on that I'm new game rather than have this lingering game that I never finished. All right? Okay. You don't want a lingering game he never finished. It's like 20 lingering games he never finished, though. Remember when he was supposed to play Yoshi's Woolly World, co-op with Panda Lee, and it never happened? Rip. Maybe that'll be uh, something people won't vote for that. People, I hope people fucking troll him again and ask for the really long games and he don't know they're long games. But he probably won't fall for that again, like he did with Persona 3. Whew. So that was a lot to talk about in about 10 to 15 minutes. Also doing a Let's Play of Persona 4 and 3 within a year is not a good idea. I can understand playing the games on your free time, but doing a Let's Play of them, like reading the dialogue and shit? Oh, fuck that. People should vote for Final Fantasy IX. I would actually like to watch that. Instead of playing a game myself again. Alright. And I am no. a cough drop because like I said. Final Fantasy X too. He never fucking played Final Fantasy X too. And back when he played ten way back in the day, he said he might play ten too. He never played ten too. Aw oh, man. Final Fantasy X too, Final Fantasy IX, Undertale. This could just be the RPG patron's choice. And something stupid is going to get voted for, I, I guarantee it. 
people should vote for Street Fighter 4. Street Fighter 4 online. 12 hours of Street Fighter 4 online matches. Oh, that would be godlike. Like my voice already, I can feel the strain from this freaking air conditioner. Um, but I'm excited for what's coming, you know? I'm excited for this month, next month. A lot of stuff is coming in August, actually. August is a very heavy release month for me. August is a heavy release month, and he wants to do a patron's choice streams in, in August. <sighs> Responsible. So, very quickly, I will go through the gratuitous plugs, being a long video. and then we'll get started. The plugs will not be very... Fuck those plugs. This ended up being a longer video than it was supposed to be. It's still going to be as long as it usually is, but this is uh, the weekend preview. July the 3rd, Street Fighter 5, Lego, Resident Evil 5, Ask the King, and more. Ask the King is coming back. Oh, boy. So, Ask the King is this week, huh? Uh, well, I don't know. It depends. If, if I wake up on the wrong side of the bed that day, I'm not going to do a video about it. If I wake up in a good mood, I will. Please don't ask me uh, if I'm going to do it. Somebody's going to ask me if I'm going to do it because they ain't watched the video this far in. And, and let's go back to that again. You want me to do a video that would be like three to four hours long, but you haven't watched this video 45 minutes in. Some people actually do that. They, they want me to do these extremely long, ridiculous videos, but they don't even watch other videos like more than halfway through. I do not understand that. You legit just want me to suffer for no reason because you're not even going to watch it. That's not fair to me, to be honest. But we got this comment, Tevin is my hero, and hey, it's the Masturbate Bait Man. Great, uh, high quality comments, obviously. Jesus Christ! Why the hell did he see so many dislikes? 46 dislikes and 23 likes? What the fuck did he say? His patron is dying. You mean I have to get off my fat ass and get a real job? No! That's what that remind me to. Remind me of. Remind me to. Let wild black dude challenges you to a battle. Black dude sends out guinea pigs. I like that comment. Uh, Gotta go fast. Oh god, look at this profile picture. Snort. Let's get right into the views. <laughs> Phil saved me. Wolverine toy. What the fuck is going on in these comments? Oh man, Wolverine toy. Phil saved me. That is amazing. Uh, and Jay Fresh seemed to be salty about somebody talking about him uh, jacking off there in his pre-stream. What the fuck are these comments? Let's get right into the views. How the hell has got 46 dislikes? I have no idea, but I guess we shall see. Maybe uh, people just said fucking dislike. All much. right, what? I guess it's good level. What is going on, everyone? Uh, Phil here. You know what blows my mind? Interesting screen cap of his face, by the way. You know what blows my mind? We both use OBS. DSP uses OBS to stream and record. I use OBS to stream and record. Before I stream or record, I look at shit in OBS to see if it looks right. By the way, let me uh, fix this. I look at shit in OBS to see if it's correct. He starts fucking recording. And he's like, oh, the camera's a little off. Dude, you had 23 hours during the day to fix it. I don't understand that. It's a super nitpick, but how the hell do you not fix stuff like that before you record? I and don't understand. And welcome to the weekend preview for July 3rd, 2016. Ugh. Holy shit. Yes, number one. It's I July not already. We are more than halfway through 2016. I know what that a wild sucks. ride it has been. It has I've got been a, a wild new ride. haircut. I'm looking spiffy. I'm looking fresh. Nice, a little tighter here. And he looks the same to me. And before we even get started with this crazy packed video, I have so much to talk about in this week in preview. I actually had to make a list <laughs> because I wow. couldn't remember it all. There was literally that much to cover in this week in preview. Bet's on he's going to talk about shit that's not this week. Preview, so please bear with me. A lot of news and updates regarding the second half of the year coming up in this yep. video. So you please fucking bear troll. with me if it is a longer This isn't one, a weekend well preview, needed, dude. Okay? This is like a before year Before we even preview. get started with all of that, I want to let you know, number one, June of 2016 was an awesome month for me. 
Uh, I w June of 2016 was an awesome month views wise, even though DSP Gaming got the lowest views it, it's ever got ever. If you look at like Social Blade shit, I assume he's talking about Kale Gaming and the King of Hate vlogs too, but still, fam, come on, don't lie to us. I was very worried going into June this year because I was going off of this big wave of popularity where my new channel came. And on top of that, he get paid off ads and not off of views. So I don't understand how June was an awesome month, but every month last year wasn't an awesome month when he got paid off views and not ads. Yo, don't gaming understand have been doing that. really well with reviews during the month of May. Had that viral video about Homefront the Revolution. And I knew that I was going off of all of that and heading into a slower month. Not as many new releases in June. In June, I took a whole week off to spend with my parents as they visited. He didn't so take a whole week off. This bullshit. Worried, I he took like two days off. I am pleased Bally. to say June was an amazingly great month for the business. It's actually just under... Business. ...the performance of May, which is crazy because... Performance. The viral popularity of that video is what jumped uh, or pushed everything over in May... But in June, it still spilled over in a big freaking way. And it seems like people are watching stuff more. The reviews, my videos, everything. Streams, it's awesome. <clears throat> more people are not watching your streams, you liar. He barely get 400 people to show up on streams no matter what. Unless the game day one brand new. And then the next day, it's back to under 400 views. Again. What? So, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. And you I'll be honest, the first couple of months of this year were very slow. I was views. nervous about being able to do this full time. And now, after four solid months of great performance, I am feeling great. I'm, I'm positive. Performance. I'm pushing forward. I hope you've noticed it in my attitude, in my work ethic, and no. everything. That I've really been hunkering down. Work ethic. Work ethic? I'm trying to do as much as I can to stay positive and really keep everything more motivated towards awesome, creative, fun stuff. Creative? Creative. What DSP has, what has DSP done in the last eight months that has been creative? He never even did the fucking stupid DSP of the movies gimmick. When it would be him talking about old movies. How the hell are you being more creative, DSP? Not harping on negativity or anything like that. And I am so happy with how things are going right now. Okay? Because you're getting paid a lot. Or well, you're getting paid as much as you want to get paid. Okay. So thank you for that. I wanted to start the video off with that. Wow. Right? The end of June was crazy. This last week of June covered so much stuff. I actually want to very quickly recap it all for you in case you missed it. This last week. I did Street Fighter V warm-ups in anticipation of the Street Fighter V expansion content that was coming out Expansion this content. I also did several sessions of Persona 3. I mean, upwards of six to seven hours of Persona 3 in that, that time frame. Gotta so go I fast. I've gotten caught up on that. I played the new game from the makers of Limbo. The same studio, Play Dead, who made Limbo back in 2010. It was a huge hit uh, on my DSP gaming channel. The new game is called Inside. It came out this week. I beat it, and I did a full review of it. Over on KO Gaming, which within, oh, I think it was less than three days, has great viewership on the review. I could not be happier with how things are going with all that. Thank you for that. So, if you haven't seen the playthrough yet, that's live on DSP Gaming. If you want to see the review, that's live on KO Gaming. So, please check it out. KO all Gaming right? 1. Um, Come on, Lego bro. Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens released this week, and Leanna and I started our own cooperative playthrough of it. As of right now, I believe we're around four hours into it. Unfortunately, we, ha we hit this ridiculously silly hilariously crippling game bug about ice cream <laughs> game bug. that's about all i want to say now you think star wars the force awakens ice cream yeah exactly you know what they do with these lego games they add shit in it has nothing to do with the actual uh, source material and one of the things crippled the game and we have to replay a whole stage over so that playthrough is ongoing on dsp gaming definitely check that out uh, I had a big patron multiplayer event Ugh. this past Friday and Saturday where I played Overwatch, Doom, and Street Fighter V with patrons of mine, okay? The Overwatch and Doom multiplayer is all live. The Street Fighter V is not. I'm holding that back only because I knew for the next several days there's going to be constant Street Fighter V content on DSP Gaming. I didn't want to overload the channel. I'm actually going to save those matches that I played with patrons and viewers because half the stream was actually just with random viewers. I'm saving those matches for a future date in July at a time when maybe it's a little bit slower. That's when I'm going to release that those video content. So I got to wait probably weeks to see if he upload the match me and him had. 
Oh my God, Jesus Christ, DSP. Wait. Okay. And then today, that today Sunday, sucks. I played the Street Fighter V story mode. It was about three hours long. Um, it was absolutely out of control. Uh, in regards to, the and the funny thing is, I'm, I'm gonna be, uh, I'm, I'm gonna be ten times ten with you right here. The funny thing is, after me and him had the match in Street Fighter, well, a set in Street Fighter Five, I said to myself, I should go back and record this, and then upload it and get a bunch of fucking views, way before he uploaded. And I said, No, nah, I'm not gonna do that. That'll be mean. That would be me stealing views from DSP. If I knew he would have pulled this corny shit, oh, I'm gonna upload it in downtime for July. Then I would have fucking did that. It's going to be weeks before he posts those videos on YouTube. And he might not even fucking post them. Well, that fucking the sucks. Really subpar gameplay, but also being able to check out the what new characters for asshole. the very first time, even though some of them aren't even released yet. Uh, seeing what they did with the story, they actually tried to make a coherent story with Street Fighter for the first time ever, <clears throat> which is pretty crazy. Um, the hilariousness of some of the stuff in this playthrough, that's a don't miss. If you didn't see it, people on the stream were laughing their asses off. The Street Fighter V story mode, from what I've seen, is extremely boring, and I've seen no one say anything positive about it. But of course, when DSP does it, it's a don't miss, you guys. You have to watch it. The story mode, I mean, that's how silly and just laughable, and by the way, huge material to make jokes on, alright? And I did. So check out that playthrough. It's live on DSP Gaming as of right now. It literally just went live a couple minutes ago. Okay. So that's what's been going on this past week in regards to video content and streams. Video content? Take a sip. Video I content. I also, before I get to the schedule for this week, upcoming, I want to cover Patreon and all kinds of positive news and updates regarding Patreon. All right? First all right. of all, it is official. For the month of June, we hit the funding goal for Patreon again. So that's a solid, geez, I think it's like 14 straight months, if not. No, that's actually 16 straight months where we hit the funding goal and we're doing the special celebratory event again. This time around, it's a... Also, it was one month he legit didn't hit the goal, but that's because Patreon fucked up. Uh, the other stuff, that's, you know, that's whatever. There's no proof behind any of any of this stuff, so I'm not even going to go into that. You gotta go fast. Sonic the Hedgehog uh, Marathon. You know people are going to vote for Sonic 3. Not Sonic 3, August. Uh, Sonic 06. We get closer to it and we figure out schedules. Boring ass fucking game. Such. Um, but, uh, yeah, we hit the goal. I want to say thank you to everyone who pledged and rallied at the last minute. <laughs> they rallied. the goal at the very end of June, and all of a sudden a bunch of people stepped up and pledged at the last minute, and we hit... They stepped up. The goal, Boom. Thank you so much like for that. I love doing do these it. events. And I'm very happy to say that since I've been on Patreon, I've hit the goal level every single month. <clears throat> he loved doing these, event, these events. Watch all of his Patreon marathon events. Like three hours in, he tired, his throat hurt, his head hurt, his eyes hurt, his hands hurt. He bored of the game, he mad at the game, he salty at the game. He loved doing these events. Get the fuck out of here. I think this is going to be a special event. I really do. Now. FYI, two things. Number one, the poll is live on thekingofhate.com. So if you were an existing patron from the past and you just have an ongoing, you know, renewing. You know what I would say? But before I even say it, I already know it. I have a lot of flaws. I wish for these Patreon things, he would make it to when it won't happen unless he gets a certain amount of money. But then when he gets a certain amount of money, everyone gets allowed to vote. But then on top of it, but if he let everybody vote then assholes like me, if I cared enough, will come in and all vote for the same thing and completely fuck the polls up. So, fair enough. ...pledge of $5 or more. You can already vote on, if you want to see me play Sonic 1 through 3, Sonic Adventure, or Sonic 06. Those are the three options for the marathon, okay? And uh, please start voting. It's already live. And the voting will start now. It'll go all month. At the end of the month, we'll tally them up, and we'll see what I'm going to play. Okay? Oh. <clears throat> if you are not an ongoing patron, if you're a new patron this nice, month, uh, I've again. PM'd everyone on Patreon.com as of the time I filmed this. So if you're watching this, I've already PM'd everyone on Look the website. Fucking hyper I need your information in to upgrade you on the forum so that you can start voting. So please send me your information. And that also goes for the fact if you were a higher level patron, like a $20 patron, and you want to get your question answered on Ask the King this week, you got to send me your information as soon as possible so I can process that and get you upgraded so you can post up in these threads. Okay? So... I'm I'm actually gonna go on a field trip and check what was the last Ask the King. 
Because he's been charging 20 months to do questions this whole time for the last two months. And I think it's been at least three months since he did an Ask the King. Or at least two. Like, come on, dude. You would think he would... Hello, everyone, oh and welcome to the King of Hate Vlog. You would think he would do something like Ask the King every month if he getting money from people to get a question answered. That's, that's kind of not cool. I won't lie to you. That's kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of, uh. Yeah, the last one was two months ago. I wish, what was the upload date? Because two months could mean anything. March the 3rd. March the 3rd was the last Ask the King. How was that two months ago? March, April, May? It's not two months ago. Get out of here, YouTube. Two months ago, allegedly, in March. No, wait. April. April 28th. Hey, you. So yeah, two months. But it's like you, you would think he would do this shit every month if people were giving him twenty dollars to get a question answered. All that is on the King of Hate dot com right now. <clears throat> and the multiplayer event for Stop patrons is over. That. There is one more day of it. I'm gonna be doing this Friday. It's July eighth, is it? Yes, Friday, July eighth. It's going to be uh some Rocket boring League game and Uncharted Four. I'm <laughs> yep. splitting my main stream to about ninety minutes uh, 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 for each game, okay? Um, so if you were a $5 patron of mine in the month of May and you want to participate in this event and you have either Uncharted 4 or Rocket League, there's a thread already in the special patron section. Please post up. Now, as a one-time offer to new patrons for the month of... One-time offer. Is he a porno site? June, since this is spilling over... If also you were a $5 patron in the month of June and you own either Rocket League or Uncharted 4 on PlayStation 4 and you want to maybe participate in this event on, event on Friday, I'll let you. But you need to post up in the thread. He doing that? I refuse to believe that he's doing that because he's doing a, the marathon this late. He's doing that? Well, not the marathon, the stream this late. He's doing that so eight people don't show up for both games. And it's a failure like Street Fighter Five was, because the Street Fighter Five Patreon event was a fucking failure. He played with two dudes, and then after that, randoms joined. It was it was a failure. I'm sorry. Trust me. It was a right fucking now. Failure. It's live, and I need that information by say Thursday night, so I can have everyone's names ready to add you to my 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 friends list and get you going. The fact that I got to play against him makes it a failure. Going on Friday once the stream starts, okay? So, hey, Uncharted 4 and uh. Rocket League multiplayer this Friday for patrons. And then last but certainly not least, this is the first time I've ever done this in the entirety of me doing Patreon. I've already set up the monthly goal for July. <laughs> I already talked about it previously, but to make it up... He's saying he already set it up like he thought of a new idea. ...front with everyone so you know what's going on. July's goal on Patreon is, if we hit the funding level, the return of the patron's choice playthrough. I have not done this. Well, screw it. I'll come up with a hashtag right now. If you watch the video this far in, hard hands to you. Uh, hashtag unoriginal. Because this is a very unoriginal and phoned in and bullshit Patreon goal that he's already done multiple times. And it almost, it really don't work out when he do it. To be completely honest. He, just look at the fact that he's still playing Persona 3. And he's he has the nerve to charge to play a new game, even though he ain't done with the old game yet. And he's trying to rush that game to be done with about end of the end of this month. Come on, man. But um, hashtag unoriginal is the hashtag for this video. If you watch it this far, since February. So just think, uh, March, April, May, done. June. It's been five months <laughs> since I put a new game up for a patron's choice option. It's it, it's taken him five months, and he hasn't beaten Persona 3 yet. Five months professional YouTube, a professional Let's Play a DSP. It takes five months to be Persona 3. GG. Take a sip. And so you may say to yourself, well, why, Phil? Why did you wait that long to do another Patron's Choice? Well, it's very simple. I'm still playing the last game that was Patron's Choice. Persona 3 started back in late March, continued through April, May, June, and I'm still 
playing the game. The game it's not that long. Incredibly long. long. It's You're just taking too long Persona to beat it. Four. It's just crazy long. All right. It takes maybe seven to eight hours to beat it. I am. It's just that I knew I wasn't going to have time dedicated and dead time to play this game nonstop. So, oh, why the hell did you let people vote said, for it? What this means is that number one, <laughs> if we hit the goal level for this month by the end of this month on Patreon, uh, the same goal level as always, twelve hundred fifty dollars. Patrons will now be nominating and then voting on a new game for me to play starting in late August, early September. Now, if you're not aware, September this year for the hardcore gaming season is actually very slow. There's a ton of games coming out in late August, but then September actually is surprisingly slow with almost no new releases. But then when October hits, not What the hell is all of that, man? Okay? Jesus so Christ. So normally empty this year, September, which means this would be the perfect time for me to do a Patron's Choice playthrough. Bullshit. All right? So, please play... Perfect time. It was a perfect time when he did Persona 3, and it's taken him five months to beat the game. Pledge to my Patreon. Right over here, if you want to be part of that, $5 or more this month. By the end of July, you'll be nominating and voting on what game will be the next Patron's Choice game. <clears throat> and that being said, I've already said this previously, but I'll reiterate it. In this month of July, I'm going to make it a major focus of mine to finish Persona 3's playthrough. And I know there may be some days when people just don't care about Persona 3 or, you know, I know it's a smaller group that's following along the playthrough. That's okay. I want to finish this game to give myself the frame of reference when I play Persona 5 next year in February. So, it's going to happen. You don't need to beat Persona 3 to have a frame of reference for 5. With that logic, shouldn't he be playing Persona 1 and 2? Ugh. <sighs> I'm going to finish it this month. There may be some days when it's a mainstream for three plus hours. There may be days when it's just like a two hour offline session at late hours. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm going to finish that game this month. All right. Now what we're going to do is go through this week's schedule day by day so you know what to expect. And then I've got an announcement to make about oh, mid-July. It's the first time I'm even mentioning this. It's <laughs> the first time I even have dates or anything that are locked down. So I'll talk about it in a moment. Staycation. All right. The week's schedule. Obviously, tonight, I'm doing the weekend preview. I already did patron-related stuff, so I'm done for tonight. That's it. Tomorrow, Monday, July 4th. For Street most Fighter people in the United Bar States of America, this is a national holiday. It is Independence Day, the day that we celebrate our independence from any kind of tyranny or anything like that. Tyranny. And I will be working. And so will Leanna. Incidentally, Leanna will also be working. Working. No, Pandali is going to be working for real. You're just going to be doing a stream working oh my god the fact that he has the nerve to compare his working to panda lee working is insane oh, yeah, what a jackass. working on a day that most people have off um i'm gonna be doing in street fighter 5 the new character balrog was just released so i'm gonna be playing him in training mode then in his <coughs> trials in his story mode and yes i'll be doing some online play with balrog keep in mind balrog was my top tournament level character oh boy. in Super right, Story Mode of Street Fighter V. I'm going to outline exactly what you can expect in this mode, what I thought about the gameplay, what I thought about the story, what I thought about all of it in kind of a review over on KO Gaming. So there's a new video for KO Gaming this week. KO Gaming Even though there's one. no major new game release, it will be up there and that should be pretty fun. Okay. That's fun. Um, Tuesday. So just hate on the A frames. That I did for Balrog, but I'll be giving that treatment to Ibuki, Ugh. who also released. So. Balrog on Monday, Ibuki on Tuesday on stream. Um, Tuesday night, I may or may not return to my Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens cooperative playthrough with Leanna. We're going to see how she feels. I'm not sure if she works that day or not, but we may be continuing on that playthrough Tuesday night. And this time, by the way, we're not live streaming it. It's just going to be videos we record and we upload to YouTube, period. Okay? Um, yeah, the last, the last stream I did for that game got really, really bad views. He doesn't even know if she's going to be working that day. Wednesday, per your request, I did a, a, just out of the blue, a poll on Twitter the other night. I said, if I have time this week to do something new, what do you want to see me do? And the choices were, do an Undertale uh, genocide run, play this new game that's called Technomancer. I've never even heard of it. Oh, um, God, no, that game is too week, long for him to do. Like, I've never heard of it. Um, continue on with Persona 3, or Resident Evil 5 Remastered just released. Would you like to see me go through that game? And you see how much more excited he is for Resident Evil 5? And overwhelmingly, more than 50% more people voted for Resident Evil 5 than any... Really?
They voted for that? Are you fucking for real? Oh my god. But at the same time, DSP has been hyping up Resident Evil 5 multiple times. We fucking listened to it in this video. he been hyping up Resident Evil 5. And then you do a poll in Resident Evil 5, part of the poll. Wow. What a surprise Resident Evil 5 won. Anything else, and there were like 600 view, uh, votes in the poll or something like that. So, it seems to me people want to see me play Resident Evil 5. Now, keep in mind, when I originally played Resident Evil 5 when it was a new game... We already heard this story. Of, he was drunk. ...dying a hundred times. Take a sip. So, to see me play Resident Evil 5 again could be pretty interesting. No. I will be beginning I don't Resident see Evil 5 playthrough starting this Wednesday on stream. Six to eight hours long. All right. Thursday. This is a big one. Ask the King returns. It's the first oh, episode no. of Ask the King since I think April. No. Down and down and down. Project Seven. April. So you're talking. Uh, uh, it's been over two months since I did an episode of Ask the King. All right. Ridiculous, the forum dude. Thread for people to post up is already there. I'll put a link of it in the description of this video. Please post up your questions for Ask the King. The more questions I have, the better the show turns <sighs> out being. <clears throat> and the bottom line is this. I need more questions. I have not talked about Ask the King in months. So some people might be, whoa. But I got paid $20 in over the course of those months. And I haven't even done what people paid $20 for. GG. Ask the King? Yeah, it's returning this week, this Thursday, July 7th, okay? In addition, if you were a $20 patron of mine in May or June, all right, or even April, if you didn't get to ask a question in time for the last episode of Ask the King, the thread is live on thekingofhate.com for this episode of Ask the King where you can post up your questions and you are guaranteed to have your date for okay, the patron, okay. the final one. So my stream that day will be balanced between Rocket League and Uncharted 4. <clears throat> We already noticed because he gave it a weekend right to the pre-stream. But it's looking like probably that night, Friday night, if nothing else is going on, I'll probably do a, a session of Persona 3. <laughs> so I get some Persona 3 gameplay in uh, for this week. So it's not I'm just dropping the game or anything like that. By the way, for the rest of this month after this week, it's very... You know what I just thought about? He only had two people show up for his Street Fighter V Patreon stream. And he played that game for a whole stream. But Rocket League and Uncharted 4, two games that are way more popular with any viewer base, as far as how many people own it, and he's gonna only split those games up between one stream? What the fuck? Very quiet. There's almost no new releases or anything going on, so I'll have a lot more time to focus on Persona 3 this month, okay? <clears throat> nice not. Then, this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, I'm planning on focusing on Resident Evil 5 on a major way. So both of those major streams this weekend uh, will probably be Resident Evil 5, okay? He's so and happy then after he can that, play that game. We'll all be determined by what's going on next week. I Fucking am aware that that week, apparently the shooter. next zombie map for Black Ops 3 is supposed to be coming oh, out. Oh, no. I love doing those zombie maps. I've already spoken with uh, my friends Kuruchado and the Airy Lord, and we Yay. all want to do the co-op of it what that about week. So we're probably going to do it on launch day I thought like P-Dog did those, too. <clears throat> Oh my god. Um, and rrr, that's, rrr, yeah, I don't really want to go too far ahead. This month, I have a few other plans. Five story mode, Ibuki and Street Fighter Five, more Lego Star I are going to go on a scene. He had to write this stuff down? Seattle mini vacation. Last time we called it. I called it staycation. A staycation, and everyone said, that's not a staycation. Oh my god, fuck this. It's Seattle. Even though we're not in the city of Seattle, we're a suburb, it's still considered Seattle. All right. We fucking we know. Live in Seattle, but we're not in Seattle. Meaning you don't live in Seattle. You live in Renton. Was the last time we did any. Let kind me of hit this. I, I gotta hit this anyway. So, Let me hit this. Uh, what we want to do is spend some time together. We have not had time together to do something. If you can believe it, here you go. February of twenty. They haven't had time together to do something since February. They live together. And they in the middle of doing a fucking playthrough together on YouTube. What? Oh, you could tell how you could tell DSP was raised a certain way. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fifteen was a vacation. We had actually had plans last new stuff, and we both got. 
last year and we were uncertain Seattle, i want to hear downtown seattle we're going the seattle we thing to do anything we didn't do anything for christmas so this is it we've set the dates we even booked a hotel in seattle downtown seattle we're going there that week now february of 2015 hour okay but it's taking too long easily. though uh what we want to do is Seattle, but we're not in Seattle, meaning to actually go to, to the city takes us about 45 minutes to an hour, okay? But we. Dude, that's not how cities work. If you don't live in a city, if it takes you 45 minutes to get to a city, you don't live in the city. He remind me of those assholes that live in some weird backwater ass town that's like 40 minutes away from New Orleans, so they tell everybody they're from New Orleans. You don't live in New Orleans, fam. You live close to New Orleans in some shitty town that nobody know the name of. The same was the same thing with ESP. You don't live in Seattle. You live outside of Seattle in some shitty fucking town that only people that live there know the name of. But you live in Seattle, but not in Seattle. Get the fuck out of here. That's not how cities work. That's not how the map works. Last year we were Jesus Christ. If we were even gonna have money to do anything, we didn't do anything for Christmas. So this is it. We've set the dates. We even booked a hotel in Seattle downtown seattle we're going there that week now i'm not going to tell you exact dates or anything yet when we get closer i'll let you know what dates it actually will be but there's going to be a few days if not several days that week there will not be any live streaming so why are you telling us about this now if you can't even tell us the date you can't tell us the date for some reason you already have the hotel booked why can't you give a date does he i don't understand does he think something's bad gonna come out of telling a date now I don't get that. I, I don't get this, dude. Save sometimes. up gameplay for you in advance so that I have some videos to schedule. That's when the Street Fighter V videos are gonna go live on DSP. We gotta wait two weeks to see those Street Fighter V matches. Wow. Out and make live over the course mate. of that week so you still have some GG to watch. And we'll be vlogging. We're gonna be doing all oh, the fun great. stuff that we like in Seattle. Which we Who did cares? Last. Oh my God, that's a beautiful place to walk. Aquarium when we first moved here. Aquarium. How awesome that was. Take a sip. This so, is gonna be awful. What a busy month, July. <laughs> this this week is packed. We're gonna have you know time away. It's gonna be a crazy month. I hope we can keep this positivity rolling. Like I said at the very beginning of this video, June was a great month. I was not expecting it to be all this month, alright? That is it for the weekend preview. I'll see you all tomorrow, hopefully, for Balrog and Street Fighter V. Whether you can be on stream or you can watch the videos on YouTube. Don't miss that story mode. It was crazy and good. Without further ado, special thanks to the following June patrons no, who little, allowed us to do I'm, this Sonic the Hedgehog all. upcoming marathon. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your ongoing support. And that is it. Peace out, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow for more new stuff. And have a good night. Oh, my God. Well, the hashtag for this video was hashtag unoriginal. Oh, man. I've been here about 30 minutes longer than I planned on being here. Oh, my God. But uh, happy 4th of July for the people that live in America. If you don't live in America, uh, happy day, I guess. 4th of July, not that important. Be completely honest. It's not someone that's going to get mad at me because I said that. Uh, somebody always fucking get mad at me for some, some random super petty shit. Um, anyway, it is what it is. Thank you for watching the video this far in. I appreciate it and all of that stuff. Make sure to like the video to support the cause. And, um, hopefully, I'll upload some other stuff during this week. I actually have videos that, um, I edited, like, legit two or three weeks ago, and I haven't uploaded them yet. So, hopefully, I'll upload those this week. I don't fucking know, eventually. And, um, yeah. If not, I'll be seeing you next week, doing the same old shit. And, um... I'm Audi 5000, G. I'm about to probably play Black Ops 3 on the PlayStation 3 because that's the best version of the game, obviously. And uh, let me check the comments again. Might as well. I don't know why this got so much dislikes. I guess it's, I guess it's just the dislike people came in early. This video got fucking wrecked. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I just noticed this account name, the King of Gout Vlogs. What the fuck? 10 seconds of data and the beginning another than DSP professionalism. He always been doing it though. There's always a bunch of data in the beginning. Uh, not a lot of comments. I'm sure a lot of comments are already shadow banned and same old shit. But anyway, I need to upload this. This video is way longer than it needs to be. 
sorry about that and uh yeah i am out like for real for real this time don't know what i can say at the end of this video well it was fun drinking